you'll feel the emotion and wonder as a child walks through the room where he'll undergo his operation. This is the first time he's ever been up here. Roberta Millman is taking her son Brandon for a tour of the operating room. I get my annoids and tonsils out. I'm Russell and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the operating room before you have your surgery. Mother and son gown up. You can play doctor when you get home. How's that? You can still hold my hand. And your mommy will be with you at all times and you and I can talk one on one. How's that? Come on. Come on. No. Here. If you're afraid, it's natural. Everybody's afraid when they come to the operating room, even adults. Want to hold my finger? We don't be afraid of them? Okay, let's get them. When we take them through, their anxiety levels lowered. We've had patients that's been terrified. We've dragged them through the tour almost, and the next day they, when they've come down, they've been sitting on their bed saying, hey, let's go, I'm ready. Okay, Brandon, this is one of the operating rooms, that, just like the one we used when you had your surgery. This is the doctor's gloves that he's going to use when he has his surgery. It's not going to hurt you, okay? This machine is your buddy. It puts you to sleep you during that, surgery. I'm going to let you hold it up to your face. Take a deep breath. There you go. It's really a lot of fun. I learned just as much from them as I, you know, hopefully learned from me about the operating room. Brandon is five and a half years old. It's not always easy to win kids' confidence. I try to basically tell them that we're just their friend. We're here to help them. We're not here to try and cause them to have pain in any way. You know, that we want you to think of us as a friend. We don't want you to be afraid of us. Just talk to us. Brandon, this is one of the rooms you could wake up in after you have your surgery. When you wake up, you look around, and you'll know where you are. And after you're in here about an hour, we'll let you see your mother. I'm just going to sit out there and be a brave mother. <laughs> <laughs> and Brandon will be brave, too, with the help of a special friend. Every time I go to bed at night, I sleep with Pooh Bear every night. Oh. I think he's comfortable now. He's looking forward to it. Oh, really? Bye-bye. Brandon, I think, is convinced now that we're his best friend, I hope. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> Looks like uh, Brandon's ready for it. Oh, he sure does. His operation is in about a week.